Hey everybody out there in the YouTube world, it's your boy Dustin Diesel Technician back with another fun filled informative video. Today I want to be talking to y'all guys about metric versus imperial faults, okay? And um how to identify them and how to measure them. Okay, so let's get right to it. Here we have a standard or imperial ball, which means USA made USA ball. Okay, the slash is on it tells you that you want to look for the slashes pay no mind to the triangle at the top that's something that the manufacturer puts on there to identify itself but this these this bolt right here has six slashes if you want to count that means it's a grade eight bolt that means it's a hardened steel it's made of a hardened steel and it's very strong okay so this would be on like track and trailer suspensions or something that something that requires a very strong bolt to hold it together okay now, moving right along, this is a metric ball, okay? And if you can see that, this is a 10.9. So this is a hardened steel. This is a very heavy-duty ball, okay? The highest ball they make in metric is like a 12.9 or something like that. I think 12.9, but this is this is a very heavy-duty ball here, okay? Um, the 10 means that you have 1,000 newton meters of tensile strength. And um, the nine, the point nine means that you have 90% of yielding strength. Yielding means bending so or moving. So the bolt will actually move or bend before it breaks. So this bolt will not move but so much before it breaks because it's 90% yielding strength. So it, it, it won't move but so much before it gives. Okay. Now, moving right along, how do we measure these bolts? How do you measure one of these balls? Well, first of all, we want to talk about the length of the ball. Okay, ball length is not measured from the head; it's measured actually from underneath of the head to there, to the end. Okay, so what I do is I take my digital caliper, right? Hold it like this. And what I'm doing, I'm gonna use the depth gauge. I'm gonna use the depth gauge here okay so that is telling me and you can cut it on now that's telling me that it's about 70 it's about 70 millimeters you see that so this is this bolt is 70 millimeters long and then if you want to see the major diameter of the bolt the diameter bolt is that right there so, we're going to measure this here. Okay. What do we got? Let's see. We're going to measure this here. And we got the bulk is a 10 millimeter bulk. So, we know that this is 10 millimeters diameter. Okay. 70 millimeters in length. So, now we need to find the thread pitch. This is a thread pitch gauge. This is a pitch gauge here. Okay. All you do is you just run it down the line. Stick your stick your thread pitch gauge on there, and you see that this doesn't seat properly. This one doesn't match together. You just go to the next one until you find the right one. That one was a 1.25 millimeter. Okay, so now we're gonna try the 1.5 millimeter, and it fits like a glove. You see that? It goes right in. So we know that. Each one of these threads are 1.5 millimeters apart. That's the thread pitch. So you do this with any ball. And that's how you get the dimensions. And if you want to measure the top of the ball, if you really want to measure the top of the ball, we know that the head of this ball is a 16 millimeter. So that's how you measure a ball properly. Okay, and that's how you identify metric from standard. I'm Dusty Diesel Technician. Y'all know my slogan: Subscribe, keep me alive. Thanks for watching.